Welcome back to Scotty's Hobbies. In this weekly update of emissions deregulations, we are going to be covering the EPA reconsideration of the 2009 endangerment finding and greenhouse gas vehicle standards. We all know that the EPA is trying to get rid of the uh, greenhouse gas standards for CO2, um, but where is that? What's going on with that? I can remember, what was it, a while ago? What, two months ago, three months ago? Everyone was like, wait after 30 days and smog is going away. Well, what happened? When that video came out, I told you my prediction, and so far, I've been right. But we're going to go over what has going, been going on with that, what we could expect next, and some possibilities that might happen if the reconsideration uh, passes or it becomes a rule to where that the EPA is not going to regulate CO2 gases or greenhouse gases. Before we get too far into this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, check out the video library for a ton of automotive helpful DIY videos and emissions deregulations that could be potentially happening. Also, don't forget, I am giving away a Gulu DS200 OBD2 Bluetooth Scandal with bi-directional capabilities. And my favorite thing about this, the electronic parking brake reset is, or this is capable of resetting it. That is my favorite function of this, but it does a ton of stuff for a ton of vehicles, any OBD2 vehicle, this will be uh, capable to work on. So look for a link in the description if you wanna purchase one of these. Look for a link in the description and the first comment to get to the video that I'm giving this away in. And all you gotta do on that video is comment. A comment gets you entered. You don't need to go buy a bunch of stuff on the website to get entered. Just comment on the video and this will be yours for free. So go check it out right now. All right, the 2009 endangerment findings and greenhouse gas vehicle emission standards. What will happen if this becomes a final rule to where the EPA doesn't want to regulate greenhouse gases? First, in the videos that I've done on this or covering this before, I try to explain to you guys that greenhouse gases and smog forming emissions are two different things. So if this rule passes, it's not going to affect the rules on HCCO and NOx, which are gases that you could fail on on smog in California. If you look at a California smog inspection report, I'll try to find one and I'll, I'll put it up right here. Take a look at that. You can't fail smog on CO2 in California. They only measure it to take a reading of what is being emitted from your vehicle. If you see on HCCO and NOx, there is a um, a limit that you could fail on and not on CO2. So what will happen if we don't regulate CO2? Well, I was going through some of the comments that were left during the hearing uh, for the reconsideration. And I noticed a few of them said the downside of this uh, becoming a rule if the federal EPA doesn't want to regulate CO2 gases or greenhouse gas emissions, if it's something that they don't preempt, they don't care about it. It's, they're not going to do anything. There's not, they're not going to set a standard on it because it's not something they're going to care about. Well, in that case, the crappy thing is here, the states, any state can come up with their own emission standard for CO2. And if you don't believe me, go do anywhere you do research. I went on, what was it, ChatGPT, um, Google, everywhere. I went on every search engine to see if I got a different answer, and there's a ton of links that you could go read about this. What I Googled is, if the EPA stops regulating CO2 emissions, can states make own rules? Go check that out. Google it. And whatever it says, copy and paste it below and let everybody know what that says. And even if you want, put, if EPA stops regulating greenhouse gas emissions, can states make own rules? See what that says. Hey guys, a word from the sponsor today, expressvpn.com. If you guys are not using ExpressVPN, you're missing out. ExpressVPN keeps your connection private and secure on all your devices, phone, laptop, and your smart TV. So hackers, trackers, and internet providers can't snoop on what you're doing. Plus, it lets you change the region to watch shows on movies on Netflix, Hulu, or Disney Plus that aren't available in your country. I've been using it for years. It's fast, safe, and super easy. Hit the link in the description below or go to expressvpn.com forward slash Scotty's Hobbies to get the deal that I've worked out for you guys. Save money and protect yourself while online with ExpressVPN, the same one I trust every day.
if the federal EPA stops worrying about an emission and doesn't preempt an emission or greenhouse gas, that gives states, individual states, not just California, the ability to come up with their own standards. Is that going to make it easier for vehicles to be sold in anywhere? Is it going to make it cheaper to buy a vehicle because there's going to be one whole countrywide standard? It looks like this is going to be a lot more complicated than people originally thought. And everyone was saying, you're going to be able to do diesel deletes. This is going to end the emission standards, yada, 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 yada. Those are people that don't know what they're talking about. Those same people are the ones saying, wait after 35 days or 40 days from when this proposal was announced that we were going to know if emission standards were going to be completely deleted. They just don't know what they're talking about. And I keep trying to tell you guys, make sure, like this video right now so that it gets higher in the algorithm so people can see the truth about what is really going on. Everything I talk about, there's links in the description below. Uh, other than me telling you to go Google search something, but I'll put the actual uh, EPA proposed rule so you can go take a look at it. Browse around on that webpage, you could see, uh, you could find the comments and stuff and just, and just do your own research on everything. Now what's gonna happen next is this proposed rule should be figured out somewhere around December or January if it's gonna become a rule or not. The EPA, well, they're just gonna be getting back in session because hopefully the uh, federal government opens back up, but the EPA is currently looking through reading all the comments that were submitted during the comment period. They are going to hopefully consider what people say and then come up with either a change to the rule or the change to the proposed rule and then reopen it for a public comment or they're going to say, yes, this is a final rule and we are no longer going to regulate greenhouse gases or CO2 emissions. Um, and that's going to open up the floodgates of states being able to make their own emissions standards for greenhouse gases. Now you guys are, one thing that a lot of people are saying is that CARB is losing funding, that they are going broke. One of these crazy things is a long time ago, I said, CARB has gone broke before. And when they did, Somehow they came up with some crazy emission standards. So a few years later in 2012, that's when emissions got more strict. If you look into it, federal employees are leaving the federal EPA and coming to the California CARB to help set new emission standards. It's crazy right now. So you guys that are being told California is losing funding for CARB, yeah, they are on a federal standard, but take in consideration that CARB is paid for by California budget or the California budget, not from the feds. So as long as it's in the California budget to pay CARB employees, the people policing emissions in California still have their jobs. And on top of that, there's a lot more into it, getting into the weeds. Bureau of Automotive Repair is the ones that actually do the emissions for vehicles in California. They are a self-sustaining uh, part of government that doesn't get any funding from the budget or the feds. They get money from citations and licensing. So there's a lot going on, you guys. It's not as easy as you thought. It's not going to be uh, cut and dry like everybody was saying. After 35 days, emissions are going to be gone. Look where we're at. Be careful who you listen to. Do your own research. Make sure to leave a comment below if you have any questions, if you need me to go check out anything, if you've heard anything about the Chevron doctrine that everybody said was gonna change emissions too, what's going on with that? I'm gonna do some more research into that and everybody kept telling me after like 40 days or something like that, that was gonna change emissions and I kept telling you guys, no, no, no. It's way more complicated than you guys think. So make sure you look into stuff. I'm all down for emissions regulations easing up. That'd be great. I wanna turbo my Tahoe blow that engine up and build it again, build a newer, stronger one. So I want emissions deregulations as well. A federal standard would be great, honestly, in California. But I just want you guys to be informed with what's really going on, the true facts, not hopes and dreams or basing everything on my beliefs or my wants. I look for the facts for you guys and I provide those facts to you, even if you don't like them. Like, subscribe, share, check out the video library. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies and I will see you guys on the next, hopefully, helpful video.